for Cape Hatteras. The seas all crossed, the word the capes the voyage done, Walt Whitman. Cape Hatteras. Imponderable the dinosaur, sinks slow, the mammoth saurian, gull the eastern cape. Bell rises in the west, the coastwise range, slow away the hushed land, combustion at the astral core, the dorsal change of energy, convulsive shift of sand. But we who round the capes, the promontories, their strange tongues, vary messages of surf, below grey citadels, repeating to the stars, the ancient names. Return home to our own hearths where to eat an apple and recall the songs that gypsies dealt us at Marseille, or how the priests walked slowly through Bombay, or to read you walked knowing us and fro to that deep wonderment our native clay, whose depth of red eternal flesh of Pocahontas. Was continental folded Dean surcharged, the sweetness below Derrick's chimneys tunnels, is veined by all that time has really pledged us, and from above thin squeaks of radio static, the captured fume of space foams in our ears, what whisperings of our watches on the main, relapsing into silence while time clears. Our lenses lifts a focus, resurrects a periscope to glimpse what joys or pain our eyes can share or answer, then deflects us shunting to a labyrinth submersed, the rich sees only his dim past reversed. But that star glistened silver of infinity, the circle blind crucible of endless space. Is sliced by motion, subjugated never. Adam and Adam's answer in the forest. Left Hesperus mirrored in the lucid pool. Now the eagle dominates our days as jurist of the ambiguous cloud. We know the strident trill of wings imperious, space instantaneous. Flickers a moment, consumes us in its smile. A flash over the horizon shifting gears, And we have laughter or more sudden tears. Dream cancels dream in this new realm of fact, From which we wake into the dream of act. Seeing himself an atom in a shroud, Man hears himself an engine in a cloud. Recorders ages hence are syllables of faith, Walt, tell me, Walt Whitman, if infinity be still the same as when you walked the beach, near Pominock, your lone patrol, and heard the wraith. Through surf its bird note, we are a long time fallen. For you, the panoramas and this breed of towers, of you, the theme that statured in the cliff, O oh, saunterer on freeways still ahead. Not this our empire yet, but labyrinth, wherein your eyes, like the great navigators without ship, gleam from the great stones of each prison crypt, of canyoned traffic confronting the exchange, surviving in a world of stocks we also range, across the hills where second timber strays, Back over Connecticut farms, abandoned pastures, Sea eyes and tidal undenying, bright with myth. The nasal wine of power whips a new universe, Where spouting powers spur the evening sky, Under the looming stacks of the gigantic powerhouse, Stars prick the eyes with sharp amniotic, Sharkamuniac proverbs. New verities, new inklings in the velvet hummed Of dynamos where hearings leash is strummed Power script wound, bobbin bound, refined 
is struck to the slap of belts on booming pools spurred into the bulging bee on the harnessed jelly of the stars towards what the forked crash of split thunder parts our hearing moment wise but vast in our own armatures as bright as frogs eyes giggling in the girth of steely gizzards axle bound confined and coiled precision punched in mutual glee the bearings glint o murmurously sunshined in oil rinsed circles of blind ecstasy stars scribble on our eyes with frosty sagas the gleaming cantos of unvanquished space O sinewy silver byplay nudging the wind's withers, where from kill devil's hill at Kitty Hawk. The brothers in their twinship left the dune, warping the gale the right wind dressers veered. Cape word when blading the wind's flank backed and spun. What ciphers risen from prosthetic prettic scripts? What marathon's new set between the stars, the soul by Nafa fledged into new reaches, already knows the closer clasp of Mars. New latitudes unnoting soon give place to what fierce schedules rife of doom apace. Behold the dragon's cove amphibian ubiquitous, to hedge the seaboard up the headland ride, the blue's cloud temple districts unto ether, where Iliad's glimmer through eyes raised in pride, hell's belt springs wider into heaven's plumed side, O oh, bright circumferences, heights employed to fly, where's fiery kennel masked in downy offings, this tournament of space with fresh and chiselled height, is baited by my rodding circle's bludgeon flail of rancorous grenades whose screaming petals carve us winds but we wrap the fear em sharp as hail wheeled swiftly wings emerge from larval silver hangers taut motion surge space gnawing into flight through sparkling visibility outspread on sleeping wings clip the last peripheries of light Tellurian wind sleuths on dawn patrol, each plane a hurtling javelin of winged ordnance, bristle the heights above a screeching gale to hover. Surely no eye that sunward descredil can cover, where meaningful fledged as the Pleiades, with razor sheen we zoom each rapid helix, up chartered choristers of their own speeding, they cavalcade on escapade sheer cumulus. Lay siege and hurdle Cirrus down the skies, while Cetus like o vow the rigible enormous lounger of pendulous auroral beaches sat alighted wide by convoy plains, moon ferrets that rejoin thee on fleeing balconies as thou dost glide, hast splintered space, low shadowed of a cape. Regard the moving turrets from grey decks, see scouting griffins rise through gaseous crep, hung low until a conch of thunder answers, cloud belfries banging whales search lights like fencers, slit the sky's pancreas of foaming anthracite, toward the o corsair of a typhon pilot here, thine eyes by carbonated white by speed o sky gak sea, how from thy path above the levens lance, thou sowest doom, thou hast nor time nor chance, to reckon as thy stilly eyes partake, what alcohol of space remember falconace, thou hast bear in thy wrist a Sanskrit charge, to conjugate infinity's dim marge, and you, but first here at this height receive, the benediction of the shell's deep sure late reprieve. Led perforated fuselage of scutcheoned wings, left agonised quittings tilting from the invisible brink, now eagle bright, now quarry hid, twisting sink with enormous 
repercussive listings down, Gidoe spiralled, gauntlets upturned unlooping, and Gurawa slates trapped in combustion gyre ring, dance with curdled depth down whizzing, zodiacs dashed, now nearing fast the cape, down gravitation's vortex into crashed, dispersion into mashed and shapeless debris, by Hatteras bunched with bondaged heap of high bravery. The stars have grooved our eyes with old persuasions of love and hatred, birth, surcease of nations. But who has held the heights more sure than thou? O Walt, ascension of thee hover in me now. As thou at junction's elegiac wear of speed, the vast eternity dost wield the rebound seed, the competent loam, the probable grass travail, of tides awash the pedestal of the verest fail, not less than thou in pure impulse and bread, to answer deepest soundings, O upward from the dead. Thou bringest tally and a packed new bound Of living brotherhood, thou there beyond. Glacial sierras and the flight of ravens, Hermetic away past condor zones through zenith havens, Past where the albatross has offered up His last wing pulse and downcast as a cup, That strained as shivered back to earth by wand, Has beat a song, O Walt, where and beyond. And this thine other hand upon my heart, As plummet ushered of those tears would start. What memories of vigils bloody by that cape, Gale mound of man's perversity at bulk, And fraternal massacre thou pallid wearest choke, Hast kept of winds a mourner all that sum, That then from a palmatoc stretched to sum, Cow slip and shad blow flaked like tethered foam, Around bared teeth of stallions bloomed that spring. When first I read thy lines rife as the loam Of prairies yet like breakers cliffward leaping. O early following thee I searched the hill, Blue writ and odour firm with violets till. With June the mountain laurel broke through green, And filled the forest with what clusterous sheen. Potomac lilies when the Pontiac rose, and clonde kaidal vice of occult's nose. White banks of moonlight came descending valleys. How speechful on oak visored palisades, as vibrant clay I following down sequoia alleys, heard thunder's eloquence through green arcades, set trumpets breathing in each clump and graft tuft till, gold autumn captured crowned the trembling hill. Panis Angelicus, eyes tranquil with a blaze Of love's own diametric gaze of love's amaze. Not greatest vow, not first nor last, but near, And onward yielding past my utmost year. Familiar vow as mendicants in public places, Evasive too as dayspring spreading an arc to traces. Our meister singer, vow set breath and steel, and it was thou who on the boldest heel Stood up and flung the span on even wing Of that great bridge or myth whereof I sing. Years of the modern propulsions toward what capes, But thou panis angelicus hast fitst thou not seen, And past that barrier that none escapes, But knows at leastwise as death strife for something green, Beyond all sesames of science was thy choice, Wherewith to bind us throbbing with one voice, You integers of Roman Viking Celt, Thou Vedic Caesar to the green sword knelt, And now as launched in abysmal copo copolas of space, Toward endless terminals, easters of speeding light, Vast engines outward veering with seraphic grace, On clarion cylinders pass out of sight, to course that span of consciousness Faust named, The open road thy vision is reclaimed, What heritage thou signal to our hands, 
and see the rainbow's arch, how shimmeringly stands above the cape's gill mound, O oh joyous seer. Recorders ages hence, yes, we shall hear. In their own veins uncancelled thy sure tread, and read thee by the aureole round thy head of pasture shine, panis angelicus, yes, walk. A foot again and onward without halt, not soon nor suddenly, no never to let go, my hand in yours, Walt Whitman, so.